Hey, storyteller. Without conflict, you have no story. Without ultimate struggle, there is no transformative victory for the character. Stories are about change, or a character's refusal to change. To depict that, we must bring our character to the breaking point. This one moment is what gives readers a reason to cheer at the end or to weep if you're writing a tragedy. Welcome to this week's writer coaching session in which we'll explore how to craft your character's darkest moment. I'm Bridget from B Squared Writer Coaching, an author, editor, and your story coach here to help you make your story powerful, polished, and publishable. First, I have a gift for you just for visiting my channel my real method to creating unforgettable characters. Before a reader can care about a character's darkest moment, he or she must first form a strong connection with that character. This free PDF will show you how to make your characters three-dimensional and come to life on the page in four easy steps. Just click the link in the description or visit b2writercoaching.com real. That's the letter B, the number two, writercoaching.com slash real, R-E-A-L, to download your copy today. And be sure to stick around to the end of this video so you won't miss this week's Power Up, a super practical action step you can use right now in the story you're working on. So what is this dark moment I'm talking about? Sometimes it's called the all is lost moment or the black moment. When I was teaching a creative writing class to teen authors, I would call it the we're doomed moment. Ironically, when C-3PO said those words in the original Star Wars A New Hope, it wasn't the all is lost moment. That was actually part of the inciting incident of the story. But that's a topic for another discussion. In a dark moment, a revelation or defeat occurs, which makes the protagonist believe that there is no way to achieve his or her goal, overcome opposition, or perhaps even survive. The protagonist may feel any combination of the following. Confused utterly disappointed, broken, or alone. This is his or her lowest point in the story, but it will lead to a realization or a critical decision that propels him or her toward the climax. The dark moment is one of the story events that I count among the seven most vital story beats. These are critical events that make your story a complete and cohesive narrative that will be satisfying to the reader. Does every story need this dark moment? If so, why do we even need a moment like this? I mean, how depressing, right? When crafted well and positioned correctly, this scene can deepen the reader's connection and empathy with the character to the greatest degree possible. Why is that? The all is lost or dark moment is the biggest catalyst for growth and a vital part of the character's transformation or refusal to change depending on which character arc your protagonist is following. For more on the three main character arcs you can use for your protagonist, check out this video linked above. I'll also link it in the description. Even in real life, people often won't change until they are pushed to an unbearable point. How does the dark moment or all is lost moment force your character to change or at least push him or her toward the possibility of change? It does so by forcing him or her to face not only unpleasant truths or situations or difficult choices, but to face his or her greatest fear. It creates self-awareness that will cause radical shifts in the way he or she thinks and acts. Where does this dark moment or all is lost moment occur in a story? If you're following the hero's journey story structure, you may notice that the all is lost moment, which is in that framework called journey to the inmost cave, occurs around the middle of the story, or at least that's how it looks on the graph. However, in most stories that follow the three-act structure or even four-act structure, this all-is-lost moment occurs right before the final act of the story, somewhere between the midpoint and when the final act begins. Often, this scene will bring about an epiphany or an aha moment, either at the end of the dark moment scene or in the next one, in which the character realizes something crucial or comes to a monumental decision that will propel him or her toward the climax in an irreversible way. This is what sets the character on the path to the face-off with the antagonist or with him or herself, depending on what type of central conflict your story involves. For more on the story events surrounding this one, also called Story Beats, check out this video on the seven most vital story beats you can use to make sure you're writing a complete and cohesive story. If you're writing a short story, keep in mind that the all is lost moment may not be a whole scene by itself, 
It may be a few lines or paragraphs in part of another scene that is combined with the epiphany and either the climax as a whole or the beginning of the climax. This was the case in my short story, Tria, which is available for free on my website. I'll put the link to that in the description as well. If you're writing a memoir, your all is lost moment will be your lowest point during whatever slice of life you're conveying in the memoir, or if you're using several different points in your life to illustrate a specific message or a specific transformation that you went through, then the all is lost moment is going to be the lowest point where that transformation seemed least possible, or at least reaching your goals seemed least possible. Writers can often find it tricky to decide whether a certain part of the scene or the scene as a whole is an all is lost moment or is part of the climax. This is because the climax will, by definition, include the greatest stakes in the story. So during the climax, when the protagonist reaches a low point, which often happens before the victory, if there is one, we might think that's the all is lost moment because the protagonist seems to be on the verge of defeat. However, keep in mind that in the climax, most of the stakes are going to be external, whereas in the all is lost moment, the stakes are internal. This is an emotional low point for the protagonist, whereas the climax may be a physical one, which involves emotion as well. If none of these structures seem to fit your story very well, then don't stress. Just write the best story you can and be sure to include the major moments. Chances are the pieces will all fall into place where they belong just by your writer's instinct, but you can also finish the story and look at these structural elements later and determine which one fits your story best, then revise accordingly. Are you finding this helpful so far? If so, consider clicking the like button so YouTube will show this video to more writers like you. Now, how can we craft that powerful all is lost moment for our protagonist specifically? First, let's look at what happens in this scene. That depends on your protagonist's greatest fear and or misbelief or the lie he or she believed at the beginning of the story, as well as what has come before it that led to this point. Usually some disastrous event, major failure, or poor decision by the protagonist triggers it. That event or decision may happen in a previous scene, one really close to this one, or at the very beginning of this scene. However, more than that single event will lead to the dark moment. It's usually a culmination of quite a few things that have happened throughout the story and is the proverbial straw that broke the main character's back. Note that the event that triggers the dark moment must be personal, something devastating not just to anyone, but particularly to your main character. The protagonist is forced to face his or her greatest fear or must confront the lie he or she has believed since the story began. Plus, the character realizes his or her own actions, inactions, or decisions have led to this point. And this will make the main character feel it's all his or her fault, which adds to the devastation. This event leads the main character to believe that he or she has failed utterly. Everything she tried didn't work, led to disaster, or made things worse. The character may think he or she has lost the ability to reach the goal, her allies, friends, love interests, family, all hope of survival or that of others, etc. In short, everything. The all is lost moment often follows the scene type for a dramatic scene in that it is slower paced and more introspective than most scenes and relies heavily on showing character emotion and helping the reader experience that emotion with the character. For tips on how to write dramatic scenes and 11 other scene types, check out this video linked above and I'll also link it in the description. When writing the we're doomed or all is lost moment, focus on the character's internal conflicts, thoughts, and how she or he is wrestling with past decisions, actions, or failures. Show your protagonist or viewpoint character's emotions spiraling downward. You want to show them in a strong way that helps the reader experience the emotion with the character. To help with this, I'm going to be doing a video next week on how to show character emotion, so be sure you check back for that one. And if you're watching in the future, I'll post a link to that video up here and also in the description. Another helpful resource for showing character emotion is a book called The Emotion Thesaurus, which I have linked in the description, and you can check out my full review of that resource here in this video. In the meantime, here are a few tips on showing strong character emotion. Use the character's body language and interactions with the setting as an external means of showing emotion. Use internal physical responses and snippets of either direct or indirect thought. 
Just a quick note, internal physical responses and body language are two different things, at least according to my definitions. Internal physical responses are things like your throat clogging up or your heart pounding, things that happen inside the viewpoint character's body, whereas body language is going to be things like wringing your hands or rubbing the back of your neck, things a character usually does voluntarily or on purpose with the body, but they can be involuntary as well. They're just outward, most of the time visible things that the character does with the body. And if you'd like more on the difference between direct and indirect thought and how to write each, check out this video linked above, and I'll also link it in the description. Use subtext and dialogue to show emotion. So in other words, what the character is and is not saying. And you can use setting, imagery, weather, etc. to either reinforce or contrast the character's mood. In the dark moment scene, you'll want to depict a certain amount of isolation for your main character whether that is literal isolation or just perceived isolation. This character feels utterly and completely alone, and no one can or maybe will even try to help. She has to solve this problem on her own. And like all scenes, the dark moment must keep the story moving forward. So be sure not to just get into your character's head and fail to show any interaction with the setting or action. You want to be sure something is happening in the scene. Show your character wallowing in despair while doing something, or at least in between doing things. Maybe the character starts out the scene doing something, and then after a brief period of wallowing, has to get up and do something. Or maybe other people around the character are taking action, and your character is sort of in a state of paralysis. Some of the best dark moment scenes involve the character taking action while wrestling with all this sort of going through the motions. Just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already, be sure to download your real method to creating unforgettable characters. Remember, just click the link in the description or visit b2writercoaching.com slash real. Now for today's power up, when planning or revising your character's dark moment, ask yourself the following questions. Why is the disaster or failure that triggered the dark moment particularly devastating to this character? What actions, interactions, or decisions led to this point and make the protagonist feel it is his or her fault? In what way does this moment force him or her to face her greatest fear and or the lie she believed? What is that fear and misbelief? What does the protagonist believe he or she has lost or is losing? Why does this seem irreparable? What realization, epiphany, or aha moment does this lead to? How does that give the protagonist hope or make him or her feel more equipped to face the future and the climax? How does this sequence of events push the protagonist irrevocably toward the climax? For more tips on writing the epiphany, climax, and other story beats that surround the dark moment, check out this video on the seven most vital story beats and let's power up your storytelling.